So this is going to be a different one. Throughout my entire adult life, I've always been a major fan of technology. Technology more than companies, brands, anything like that. I've always just loved technology. There's a type of technology that I've always been a fan of, and that's connective technology, especially from Apple. Anything that Apple puts out, I get pretty excited about. For anyone that knows me, knows that I've been on iPhone for quite some time, since December 2nd of 2010. I've had plenty of iPhones in my day. I started on the iPhone 4S. I've had iPhone 5S. I jumped to the iPhone 7. I then jumped to an iPhone 8 Plus, and then on to the iPhone 10, which changed the game in iPhone's history. And then I jumped onto the 10S, and now currently I'm rocking the 11 Pro Max. But it's not the only things in Apple that I've acquired. I've also had plenty of iPads. I currently stand about, I think, nine iPads. My first iPad was an iPad Gen 3, and then later on got an iPad Pro. And now I've got the second generation iPad Pro 2018. Looking forward to the, the iPad Pro that's going to come out this year. But going back even further beyond these things, I got an iPod Touch back in 2000, I believe 2007, maybe 2008. That was kind of what started my journey of iOS. So over the years, I've acquired iPhones, iPads. I'm now sitting at, I believe, five HomePods. I've got Apple TVs, I believe four of them. I am one that you can definitely say I am in that Apple ecosystem. I'm in it because I live in it. It's something that helps connect my life to others. It keeps me connected and it makes my life simpler and easier and more organized. Me being the fan that I am, me being the total sheep that I am when it comes to Apple, being that person, it's tough to do this video today, but we're gonna do it. With your help and mine, we'll get through this. So over the years, as I've learned to dwell in this Apple ecosystem that I've been in, I've collected and collected and collected more and more Apple products. So now I'm currently running a 2018 MacBook Pro. I have a backup MacBook Pro uh, that I need, that I've never touched actually, I don't need it at all. I have, uh, you know, 2011 iMac. I've got my 5K iMac that sits on my desk that barely ever gets used. I'm on Apple Watch number five. We've had Apple Watch since 2016. I've had every single Apple Watch on launch day since the inception of Apple Watch. I've had every version of AirPods that have come down the line of Apple, including the first generation, the second generation, and now the AirPods Pro. If you were to log into my account of my Apple ID, you will see just a plethora of iOS devices that I'm currently signed into that I manage all the time. So to make a video like this one is a bit unprecedented. When I acquired this next device, it is something that I never thought I would get. Something that I would never have to unbox Something that I never would have to even worry about even telling people that this product out there exists and it has my name on it. So it was given to me because I now need it. So I'm using it as irony. It's ironic that I have to make a video like this. But like I said, I'm a fan of technology more than I'm a fan of anything else. I love technology. This is an unboxing of this, a Samsung Galaxy S8. So seriously, I get it, laugh all you want, it's fine by me. I never thought I would see this day either, but here it is. I'm a little late to this party because it's not the latest flagship put out by Samsung. That's, a, that's actually the S10 and the S10 Plus. However, I've always said that I've been a bigger fan of technology more than I've been a fan of Apple. I love Apple, it's my preference, it's my everything but I'm a huge fan of just technology as well. And I've always said this, that if Apple didn't exist, if the iPhone didn't exist, I'd be first in line to get that Samsung S10 Plus because it's pretty great. However, this was given to me and I get to use it now. It will not be my daily driver by any means. I get to have it on me at all times. I've never played with the Samsung, I know nothing about it. I can't even give you all the input 
and the tips and tricks to this little thing. There's plenty of other YouTube videos that are out there that for people that are knowledgeable in this area that can share all you wanna know about this device. This came out in 2017. So we're going to unbox this Samsung Galaxy S8. Again, this is a 64 gig model. It is in midnight black. It is the flagship that was put out in 2017 by Samsung. So when you open up, the packaging is doable. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I love the black, I love that all black. Inside, the very first thing is a let's get started. In case you've never picked up a Samsung device before, or an Android device before. The very first thing is obviously the phone that's on top, but we're gonna put that aside real quick and we'll come back to that. There's the SIM card that comes in with it, uh, the SIM that I got put inside of it. Inside, there's just this typical paperwork, rules, regulations. Inside is the standard USB power adapter. I guess I'm supposed to, okay, so there's the USB cable. It is also USB type C. Headphones, corded with material, not silicone. So that's pretty cool. Not sure on the sound. We'll have to play with it and see on the sound. I had a pair of uh, Samsung headphones back in the day, maybe 2013, 2014. Um, I had them through work and we had a whole bag of them. So I used them all the time uh, because they really, really did sound superior over Apple's ear pods back in that particular day. Uh, but they never worked really well with iPhone. There was always a clicking sound, so I can never hear it well. Uh, but I will say, give them props. They are great sounding headphones. I'm hoping that these are just as great. So on the front, it has a sticker. It says, it can wait. Distracted driving is never okay. I have Apple CarPlay, so I'm not distracted as much, but I'm plenty of distracted. <laughs> I mean, I'm still touching things, but being able to text uh, freely without any device whatsoever with just using my voice, keeping my eyes on the road is a huge benefit than picking up my phone and being able to text with this because obviously we're distracted when that's happening. So the campaign for this is, you know, distracted driving, it can wait. That one text message, it can wait, I promise. Don't text and drive, please. Obviously, it's a glass sandwich, basically. Got glass on the back, glass on the front. It's got a front-facing camera on the front side. And um, looks like maybe a flash. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't know a whole lot about these things. On the back, it has the full Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, I don't know what this giant sticker is that has the IMEI information. Why would you put that on the back of your phone? I don't know. Hopefully, I can remove that. And I can. So we're gonna place that into the box. Oh good, it leaves a big old giant sticker smudge. Good thinking. So for the very first time, let's fire up this Samsung Galaxy S8. So Samsung Galaxy S8, powered by Android, powered by Android. Gotta have an AT&T symbol, not a fan of that. The, looks like the SIM tray is in the top here. So we'll use that to pop that. This has got unlimited data, unlimited tethering, unlimited basically everything. So I'll use it for, you know, that. I can tether my MacBook off of it, use it as a hotspot, all the things uh, that I'll be needing it for, and just stream all the Disney Plus I want and all the YouTube that I want. So it's a very slender design. It's very skinny. When you compare it to the iPhone 11 Pro Max that I'm running right now, it's very narrow. This is a smaller version, but it's perfect for your pocket. I mean, not to say the iPhone isn't, but this is a very small, like iPhone 10 style. We all know what the iPhone 10 with that, uh, was it 6.1 inch display? That's kind of what this is. I don't know specifically what the exact measurements are. And it's got the curved edge display that they, they were the first to come out with. I don't like the fact that it's a notch down here at the bottom uh, and, a, and about half inch there and a full half inch notch up here as well. I'm not really a fan of that. I think this display would, would look really great if, um, if it had you know, expanded all the way to the top and bottom. So that's it. I don't know much about this thing. I'm gonna have to play with it as well. Um, that's it. That is the Samsung Galaxy S8. Laugh at me all you want, but this is now what I get to have in my pocket all the time. I've never had to carry around two phones before, um, but for uh, different purposes, now I'm going to be able to. Uh, so like I said, it's not my primary device but it will be my um, tethering mobile, Spotify player, all the Google apps and Google Maps and all that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of cheesy, I'm cheesy. I've got a big day, I've got a big afternoon of events going on, so I've got to get out of here. I've got to clean up this mess. So thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions or anything you want to know about this specific device, you can leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, give props to Jalen. Tonight, he's going to win the Heisman. Please, 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 please win it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.